So I run the Whale Sanctuary Project as its executive director. I was the manager of the project to bring Free Willy, the Free Willy Whale Keiko, from the Oregon Coast Aquarium back to a bay in Iceland. Last fall, there were hundreds of thousands of Russian activists who called the world's attention to the illegal capture of what initially was 101 whales. And the media began to talk about the whale jail, the largest capture that anyone had ever heard about. And it really does look like a severe location with metal doors. So the, the whales are not behind bars, but it feels like a very secure and intimidating environment. The orca pens were enclosed in plastic. The beluga pens were very small and very crowded. Six, seven belugas, eight belugas at a time. How do you transport a hundred animals back? No one's ever done it. Each orca is in a tank by itself, a big water tank. Three belugas are each in a tank by themselves. Each of those tanks is on a truck. And then when they get to the Amor River location, then that tank is lifted up and put on a barge. And then they go on those barges for three days. Then the tank is put back on trucks. They go on these dirt roads for another day. And then the whales are picked up from the tank and put in the water by a crane. And it appears that it worked. So 10, 10 orca have now been released and 12 beluga have now been released. We have seen that a number of the orca have been near wild whales and two or three now as of today have been observed feeding with wild whales. Alexandra, when she first left the release area, she was with two males and the two males continued on and she appeared to be separated. She was subsequently observed with some of the whales that were released from the, the whale facility in Shrednaya Bay and also near wild whales. Going forward, what will happen with the remaining 75 belugas? We are in September. The weather will get worse. How can we get 75 belugas released between now and mid-October? The government spoke in June to changing the law about capturing cetaceans so that they would not be captured and sold in the future. That has to be the goal of all of this work.